Hey ladies, <laughs> got some different scenery here. I'm out in my driveway. I'm supposed to be at acupuncture right now. But um, I was rushing out the house and well, you know how I told y'all that my car got rifled through the other night or like last week? In my last video, I think I mentioned that, right? Well, yeah. So, since then, I've been locking my car doors. So that I... Because that's what you're supposed to do. But, anyway. I was rushing out for acupuncture. And I think I mentioned in another video... Um, the toilet seat that I bought for upstairs was broke. So I grabbed the toilet seat so that I could take that to Lowe's on my way back from acupuncture. Well, I grabbed the toilet seat and I didn't grab my keys. <laughs> so my keys are separate house keys, car keys. I didn't grab either one. So I walked out the house, locked the door, closed it behind me, got to the car, no keys. So... What I would have normally done is my car door would have been open. I would use the garage door opener, go in through the garage, get back in the house, no problem. Well, since I've been locking my car, <laughs> I can't get in the car to get to the garage door opener to get in the house. So now I'm stuck outside waiting for AAA to come open my car. <laughs> So that I can get in the house and get my keys. So acupuncture has gotten pushed to tomorrow. And now you see why I don't lock the car key, the car doors. Because when I first moved to the house, that's what kept happening. I kept locking myself out. Running out. Ugh. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Triple-A says they'll be here at 6.33. It's about 6.24 now. I've been locked out since about 6.10. <laughs> so, thank goodness it's not raining. Um, although it's kind of cloudy. It's starting to get dark. <sighs> I don't even know where to sit. <laughs> I would sit on my car. But, um, there's like a serious, like, fire ant problem. So there are ants crawling all over the outside of my car. So that ain't happening. So I just get to stand out here and wait another 10 minutes or so for the, the locksmith to get here. Oh, boy. Anyway, while I'm here, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my shirt. See that? trust your journey I'm having one of them kind of weeks and I need to trust my journey <laughs> I need to trust my journey I will say um, that I watched Chris Buzz Joe this morning I'm so sorry y'all I'm so sorry I know this video is like two weeks later um, I did comment on the video I just I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I was really pulling for y'all. Um, if y'all don't follow Christmas Joe, they're a very, very cute couple. Um, please go and get them some love. Um, they just had a, uh, a, I don't want to call it a failed cycle, but um, they just had a, a BFN following an um, IVF uh, fresh transfer. So uh, my heart goes out to you guys. Warm hugs, warm hugs. Oh boy. Alright. Well, at least I'm not hungry. And I'm not all that tired. I will say, Ashwagandha, something has been doing something good for me. Um, that and my healing tones at night. Ashwagandha is really good at putting me down. The healing tones um, seem to help me stay asleep longer. So, um, that's all working out good. Um, we know the scale wasn't so nice to me. Um, a couple days ago uh, the weight is coming down because well I've been good although today I decided that I wanted um, some Thai curry so I had a shrimp red curry 
with brown rice. Um, I know it's not exactly keto, but I really, really had a hankering for the curry. So I had the curry. It was really good too. Ooh, it was really good. Um, but yeah. So it's cycle day eight. Um, I woke up this morning and I um, forgot to capture my first morning urine. <laughs> And I said, oh shoot, it's cycle day eight. I'm supposed to be doing my OPKs. <sighs> but, um, that was probably about 6.30. So, um, I went, I got on a treadmill, drank a little water or something behind that. A few hours later, I had to go again. So I went. Um, no surprise. Uh, digital was a new, um, reader so that read low and um the uh one full strips had a faint line that's expected but i did see some cervical mucus not egg white um it was probably more somewhere between sticky and creamy it wasn't exactly sticky so I was like, oh, I see cervical mucus. I need to test, like, today. I don't need to wait till tomorrow. So, because um, my acupuncturist has got me doing moxibustion every night. Um, and while uh, for my ERA, I did get my peak on cycle day 14. Um, I don't know if the moxibustion combined with um, my workouts that grows my line in a little better or um, if the heat actually um, helps my follicles grow a little quicker so I just don't want to miss the ovulation so my RE says to start on cycle day 10 um, the clear blue advanced instructions say depending on your cycle length so mine is usually 30 30 somewhere between 30 and 32 days um, at 30 days they say to um, start testing on cycle day eight so that's what i did today's cycle day eight so i tested everything that's low so um we are off to the races because what this means is i'm about a week away from ovulation which means i'm about two weeks away from transfer so um today is wednesday so i guess the seventh that's what i was saying november 7th that's what that would be so Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm feeling good. The weather's actually really nice. The high has been like 81, but like I said, it's starting to get dark, so um, the temperature is lower. So at least I'm not like beating in the sun and um, it's super duper hot. So that's not the case because I am wearing jeans, right? <laughs> so um, I'm so cute today, too. I got my little. My little pink flats. Don't mind my ashy feet. Going with my little shirt. My little Trust Your Journey shirt. I like this. I saw this in Walmart and I was like, oh my god, this is speaking to me. I have to have it. So I bought it. And uh, this is my first time wearing it. I just felt like I was just so cute today. <laughs> if only I did something with my hair. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm just trying to kill time. Uh... So the lock person comes. He got about three minutes to turn at their corner, okay? But anyway, um, I've been shopping again. I know I'm supposed to be saving money. Um, but, you know, as I get my house together, because like I said, I'm a bit of an overachiever. And um, as I've been getting my house together, I've been, like, buying stuff. So, like, Lowe's is like a second home for me. So, like, the toilet seat, the new shower heads. Um, a new tub spout, all of that good stuff. Um, so, um, so for my office, I actually broke my bookcase moving it, uh, to clean the carpet. So I bought some new bookcases and I think I had three in my shopping cart and I bought all three of them. I didn't mean to buy three. Either that or one came in two boxes at two different times. I'm not sure. Uh, 
but I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out <laughs> or I'll just keep all three bookcases um, I'll probably do that and I bought the bookcases and I bought like a carpet mat for my um, office chair and then uh, I'm gonna get my office together <laughs> when I get it together I'll give you all a tour of my office um, but I've got like like my degrees. I've got like my bachelor's degree is all nice and framed. I wanted to hang that up. Um, my master's degree is not framed. Although I keep intending on buying a frame, I need to go to the school website and do that. Buy the frame. Because <sighs> um, that's what I've been waiting on to buy an official school frame that has the school name. But I don't know if y'all ever bought frames for degrees, but they kind of expensive. Like this frame, I think might cost me like seventy five dollars. Mm, as much as my degree costs, the frame should be free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nine hundred dollars of credit, the frame should be free. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. So, um, I think uh, my locksmith is officially late. Um, he need to come on here. They need to come on. Because I got things to do. So now I don't have acupuncture. Um, I'll just go straight to Lowe's. Um, figure something out for dinner. And um, maybe put my shelves together. I need to do something like relaxing. It's been a good day at work. But um, I need to step away from work a little while. And stressing myself out about... Um, Locking myself out, it's not helping. Not helping right now. So, yeah. So, um, this is my not so manicured lawn. You see my uh, mulch <laughs> that's been out here for like a month. <laughs> I bought the mulch. I was too tired to actually put it down, so I didn't. These are uh, hydrangea bushes, and I've got like some caladium sort of spread out there. But, um, yeah, the weeds keep overgrowing the grass. I'm trying, I'm trying. So, um, in about a week or so, I need to, um, mow the lawn again. But, um, other than that, that's what I got going on. I just rambled for, like, the last 15 minutes. <laughs> I should tell you, when I first, um, started contacting AAA, I noticed there was, like, a hornet crawling on me. I was like, see, I'm out here in the elements. Now the bugs are starting to attack me because I'm, like, fresh out the shower, too. I didn't put on any lotion because, well, I didn't have time to. But it was like a hornet, like, right here. And I looked down, and he was crawling. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I freaked out. So hopefully um, this guy can get here, and I can get going where I need to go before the mosquitoes start attacking. But uh, thanks for hanging out today and um keeping me company uh while i wait for my locksmith who is officially late he's two minutes late now okay triple a but i guess that's better um it was more like a like a 15 maybe a 15 minute wait um that was better than this might be him uh that was uh better than an hour and a half they initially were quoting me so, oh no, I guess that's just my neighbor. I hope this guy isn't lost. Anyway, yeah, that was a neighbor that wasn't the locksmith. I don't know. But anyway, sticky baby dust to all those CTC. Bye.